Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. Um, uh, new men came out to make a post about the protest, and the elder statesman he has a reservation about it, and uh, he's talking about disbursement protest, Tunupu, and the rest. So just listen to this. Listen to this. See on the other side. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen in the Grand Colony in Nigeria. Your own elder statesperson, Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Agbuchino, is on your way this day, the 30th of July, 2024. How are you all doing today? A very quick one, responding or reacting uh, to the VN of that person that calls himself old uh, Newman. He will not rest. And when he speaks, there are no senses inside. He came up this morning and gave a VN, and the VN cut across two, two subheadings. Subheading number one, telling the proponents of Tioba to keep praying for Tioba. Fine, I don't have so much to say in that area. I have said all that I need to say in that area. Those who believe in Tioba continue to believe in Tioba. I pray for you. Let me even join in the prayer to pray for you that Tioba be able to disperse. That is not my issue. I don't have anything to say in that area anymore. Anybody who wants to believe uh, uh, Newman, you are free. You are free. I don't have anything to say there anymore. But the area I would like to comment is the area that he came out and said that people should not join in the protest that is coming. People should not join in the protest. And he was trying to show that they are with Tinubu. They are supporting Tinubu's government. About, uh, is it 10 or 11 months ago, about the, close to 11 months ago, they came up jubilating that they had been given authorization later to this boss, and we are still here. They claim that Tinubu knows them. Whereas Tinibu does not know them. Do you know how many people are lining up for Tinibu to know them? Does Tinibu know Tio? Does Tinibu know Newman? Well, let, them, let us continue to see. They were always trying to project themselves, thinking that Tinibu knows them. And for their information, Tinibu has so much thing to do. He doesn't have time for Tio. He doesn't have time for Tio back. That is the truth. But if you don't believe in what I'm saying, no problem. You are free to believe whatever you want to believe. But what I stand here to say is, Tinibu doesn't know Tio back. Tinibu doesn't know uh, uh, Tio. They it all is just self acclamation. Self acclamation. When anybody comes out, you'll be calling the name of Tinubu. And Tinubu does not know that any fly is anywhere. Tinubu is saddled with much load of the country to see how he can fix the country. That is what me, I know about Tinubu. Tinubu does not have, have time for feeble to you feeble to that gave 55 million naira to EFCC to save him. He used his mouth to, to say it and the VN is everywhere. If Tinibu will know to you, it's a matter of a call to the head of EFCC now, leave this man. But as I speak to you, Tio is still under the greed of FCC. As I speak to you, Tio is not free. And it is still the same Tio that is promising you of billions and trillions. I join in the prayer 
uh, for you to be able to give you that. But for, uh, as I have already said, the reason for me coming up to uh, respond was when Newman was saying that we should not protest. We should not protest. The first and foremost thing I would like to let Newman know is protest is not against the law. We have freedom to protest. What I expected him to say is please don't engage in violent protest. And that is where I am. I don't want anybody to go violent. But I would like everybody to come out and protest because me too i will come out and protest what is protest protest is a uh, 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 dissatisfaction with what is going on i am dissatisfied with what is going on in the in the in, the, in, in nigeria as at now i am dissatisfied life is not easy and it is the fault of the government it is the fault of the government. We are coming to say, government, what you are doing is not correct. What you are doing is not correct. Brace up and make life comfortable. For all, make life affordable. Make living affordable for the citizens. That is just simply what we are coming to say. It appears the government does not care for us. And that is the truth. I'm going to mention a few things that the government has done that we feel is not in order and that uh, the government should raise up. Like uh, the Nigerian budget today, the Nigerian budget before uh, Tinubu came into power was 21.83 trillion naira. But when Tinibu came, he increased it to 27.5 trillion, plus the supplementary budget of 6.2 trillion Naira, totaling 33.7 trillion. That is the budget of Nigeria for now. And if Labour had not protested, there wouldn't have been increase in wages who, in the minimum wage. Who. And uh, even the increase in minimum wage, how many people are working with the federal government? How many people will benefit from that minimum wage? As I stand here, I don't have record. But I'm very sure those who are in the federal civil service, they are not up to 20%. Of the whole population so it means nothing it eventually means nothing 15.5 billion naira was released for the renovation of the house of the vice president 15.5 billion not for the erection of a new place. So that place is already there, just to renovate it. And looking at that place, it was not a year, year company that built that place. So I think that it was Julius Beggar. I am not very sure anyway. But even if it is not Julius Beggar, it should have been a very powerful company that uh, might have used strong equipment to construct that place. The PVCs in the toilet are such that could serve for 50 years. The tiles on the floor. So, renovating that place does not necessarily mean you are going to remove the PVC so. That you are going to remove the tiles so. And uh, does it mean that the roofs are going to be removed? And even if the roofs will be removed, how much roofs will the presidential house take that it will amount up to 15.5 billion naira? I pant my chest to tell you that the amount that could renovate that place will not be up to 1 billion. It will not be up to 1 billion. 
This is extravagancing. It is so extravagant. And you are telling us to bear the hardship. You, you are not bearing the hardship. If the vice president could take that amount of money from the budget covers, what do we say about you being the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? <laughs> we don't know that one. That one is in the cooler. We don't know of it. We don't know of it. And uh, the presidential candidate for Labour Party, his eminence, Peter Obi, came up and said, no, this is unnecessary wastage. This money should have been used to pay 3,000 professors and they will conveniently carry out research to make Nigerians develop. And you just, how, how will you look at it if we have 3,000 professors in this country who know what they are doing? That was what uh, uh, Edison Obi was saying. And uh, Tinibu again <laughs> was accused of buying a presidential jet costing $100 million and investing $50 million for its customization. The presidential jet would cost $100 million and its customization would cost $15 million, totaling $150 million when converted to Naira at 1,500 Naira per dollar, it will arrive at a $225 billion, a billion Naira. This is extravagance. And you are saying we should be patient. <laughs> we should endure that there will be light at the end of the tunnel. And you, being the president that is leading us, you are not being patient. Uh, what, what deal do we have with a new presidential judge costing that amount? And food prices are increasing. Unemployment is ravaging on the citizens of the country. If you tell us that there will be light at the end of the tunnel, it is very difficult for us to believe. I don't have proper record anyway, but I think in 2023, before, before, before uh, a Tinubu came to power, the budget for the National Assembly was about 214 billion naira. But when Tinubu came, he increased it to about 344 billion. Everything is going up. And you say there will be light at the end of the tunnel. And all this increment is revolving around small coffers of people, cartel of people, widening the gap between the poor and the rich. I stand here to tell us that fuel that is selling at 700 naira per liter now, if this fuel begins to sell at 10,000 naira per liter. The rich will not feel it. They can conveniently buy it. They can conveniently buy it. But even if it is reduced to 500 naira per liter, the poor will still feel it. Because the gap between the rich and the poor is so wide. And you say I should not come to air my view and to complain. I will complain, no. So many children are out of school. Hunger everywhere. Beans that was selling at 500 naira per moodle, per moodle, is now 3,000 naira per moodle. Nothing is easy. We will complain. There will be light at the end of the ten tunnel. Where is the end of the tunnel? Since Nigeria came into being, 
by my uh, observation, I have never seen when Nigeria has ever gotten better. I have never seen. And it will, if it will get better now, then it will be a miracle. And uh, you cannot base on miracle and preach to people on miracle. No. I am in government. There will be miracle. No, nobody listens to you. We are pragmatic individual. Nigeria will get better. But that does not apply to you. Nigeria is good, right? At your own time, you are enjoying it. And you are telling to the citizens to bear the pain. If we would bear the pain, all of us are Nigerians. Why don't we bear the pains together? You are enjoying And you say Nigeria should bear the pain. It's very, very difficult for us to believe. Nigeria has never gotten better. Nigeria has never gotten better. What if Nigeria will get better that you are saying? If at the end of your administration, Nigeria doesn't get better, who will arrest you? Who will arrest you and say you should come and give account? Do they arrest uh, uh, ex-presidents? Is there any ex-president that has been arrested in this country? I've never seen anyone. I've never seen anyone. And anybody that is coming to government, that is the language in their lips. They will never tell you that Nigeria will be worse at the end of their administration. They will never. They will never tell you that Nigeria will be better at the completion of their tenor. But lo and behold, when their tenors complete, we will get worse. And they will go and quietly hide in a place and begin to enjoy the monies that they have stolen from the Nigerian government. That has been the, 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 uh, the trend of event. That has been the trend of the event. The hardship is too much. The hardship is too much. We will come out and complain. But me, I don't side up with people who will destroy lives and properties. I don't side up with people who will come out with knives and sticks and guns. No! Let's make our grievances known to the government. It is allowed. It is allowed. Me, I support people. To I am not a psychophant. I am not. And I can never be. I am a Nigerian. I will speak out. I am a Nigerian. I have the right to speak out. And that is what I am doing. Nigeria is not getting better for anybody. It's not getting better for anybody. What of Dangote's refinery? I am hearing a lot of things about Dangote's refinery. So, what the what what is happening to discourage him? What is happening to discourage him? I learned that uh, crude oil is not made available for this man to begin to produce. Uh, uh, this uh, 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 crude oil products and they will begin to buy them at cheaper rates. I learned that Dangote has resorted to buying crude from US and Brazil. I have not studied so much on it. Those of you that have carried out your research, you know what I am talking about. There are several areas that discouragement is being perpetrated against Dangote to cushion the effect of hardship for Nigeria. And you are saying I shouldn't come out to complain. You say Nigeria will get better. Nigeria, how will Nigeria get better? How will Nigeria get better? So, my own side of the issue let every nigerian come out to protest but don't be violent i am against violence i am against violence but i am totally for you making your grievances known to the government thank you and good afternoon